Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noel. If you're new here, please click that red subscribe button down below. And if you're not new here, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how we got this cute Barbie ponytail, keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the infamous Barbie ponytail. For this style, I recommend you start with dirty but straight hair, just so that it's, you know, a little bit better. The three things you'll need, edge brush, regular brush, paddle brush to detangle all your hair. You're gonna need gel, some water, spray bottle, preferably, hey. And then you're gonna need a really good flat iron. This one is really, really good. This is the Kristen S. Bought it for my mom at Target. It works really really well if you detangle your hair before any style it just makes things so much easier so that's what i'm doing and i'm also gonna start my side part and it takes me a while to do this because i just like to map out where my bang would be and i like it on the deeper side oh my god my roots then as opposed to like more in the center now i'm trying to get a really good part of my bang so that it's separated fully the key to this is having good parts and making sure everything is separated and you have sections to work with. Now I'm going in with the spray bottle and making sure everything's wet. This is the way to lay your hair down the best. Then you go in with your gel and that kind of just like seals it in. So that's the tea. Now I'm going in and I'm combing the ponytail before I brush it in. And this is me brushing it in now to make it smooth. And the back is so mother hard to get flat. I always do two ponytails. It has to be tight. But look at the back. Boy, if you don't. It is not. So I go ahead and fix my ponytail. This is the most tedious hairstyle between the ponytail and the bang. It never comes out right the first few times. So once the gel sets in and it dries a little bit, then it'll be a little easier to maneuver. Now back to our bang, we're gonna start styling this piece. If you want, you can just comb it and have a soft bang, you know, no gel. If you wanna just have it softer, you don't need gel. You could just pin it back like that. Now I'm going in with my spray bottle, making sure my bang is real, real wet. And then I'm gonna take some gel and I'm gonna coat that whole dang thing. I'm gonna make sure that thing is coated. Because if you want this style to last, you gotta OD it. This is the part where you kind of just mold your bang, make sure that it's brushed flat on your head, it's flat, everything's laying correctly, and that it's pinned tight enough so that it won't move. You can see here I have such a hard time, one, finding bobby pins, and two, really trying to keep this shit in place. Moving on to our edges, I didn't go crazy with the edges today, but you can, of course, you can always go crazy. This is what I did. I just did a little because I was going to work, but best believe if I had the time, I would have done an array of edges. Again, going in and fixing up that bang, you guys got to put a lot of love into it and then it'll work. Moving on to the hair, I'm just going to work in somewhat small pieces. I'm going to take the flat iron and kind of just put it all the way down and then bring it up towards the ends. Super simple and easy, it almost makes like a little curl. If you guys want this flat iron, it's so amazing, it goes up to 400 degrees. I recommend this 100%. It just makes the style so much easier. When you're working with a bad flat iron, you kind of think that you're doing it wrong, but it's really just a whack ass flat iron but yeah i'm gonna do that to my whole ponytail and you'll see when i'm done
is the finished look um, i was also saying you could leave a softer bang if you wouldn't want to glue it with some glue aka gel you can also tie a piece of hair around the band if you don't want it showing i'm just going to work so you know it's nothing crazy and i really love the ends they look so cute Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, do not leave without subscribing. Period, period, period. Follow me on my socials. Chanel Danoa on Instagram and Real Chanel Noah on Twitter. Thank you, babies. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>